Well, in fact, the uh, European Commission is supporting a lot of capacity development activities within uh, the different projects that we are implementing. Uh, in Montenegro, this is a, a very big issue because of the low administration they have, the reduced number of staff, and the, and the skills and capacity of the staff. So each project we are implementing, uh, which are functional towards the process of European integration, needs capacity development activities. So I think that uh, this is a very important issue in Montenegro in particular. We think that UNDP is a, a serious and, and a very good partner for us in this challenging activity. Uh, UNDP has placed itself in uh, the governmental uh, structure and is providing good, good assistance in this respect. We are uh, very much using also uh, UNDP to, to deliver specific trainings and advisory. So I would say that uh, in Montenegro there is a good uh, relationship between the European Commission and UNDP and this can only become better and better. So I think that the UNDP can be of useful for the capacity development in Montenegro in particular. But uh, the donor community here is quite small and uh, who is actually doing projects, implementing projects, are aware of this big challenge that is the capacity of public officials in particular to deliver so that uh, this, uh, this issue is taken into consideration when you design a project. So this is, this is normally considered as a long-term uh, perspective. When you design a project, you have to be closer and closer to beneficiaries. Um, the fact that we, as a European Commission delegation, implement many projects, we need very, very good partners to deliver the same kind of messages. And Montenegro is a particular case in which all the donors are sharing the main policy in the country, which is joining the European Union. So I think that is a unique opportunity to have a very big and very good donor coordination.